Now let's see how the name of the metal atom changes when in anionic complex. So if we have aluminum in the anionic complex, aluminum's name will change to aluminate. Chromium's name will change to chromate. Cobalt's name will change to cobaltate. Manganese name will change to manganate. Nickel's name will change to nickelate. Tungsten to tungstate. And zinc to zincate. Now these in these metals just 8 was added to the name. Now there are some metals which are more commonly written according to the Latin name when present in anionic complexes like iron. Iron is known as or written as ferrite. If it is present in an anionic complex it will be written as ferrite. Ag will be written as Ag that is silver will be written as argentate. That is why in the question that we did, the Ag was written as argentate, if you remember that question. Au is known as orate, that is gold is known as orate and tin is known as stannate. So these were the names of the metal atoms, how the name of the metal atom changes when they are present in anionic complexes. Now the next is that the oxidation state of the metal has to be written in Roman numerals and has to be enclosed in the parenthesis at the end of the name of the coordination pair. So all the questions that we did till now and the oxidation state of the metal you would have seen that it was written at the end in parenthesis. That is how we were calculating the charge on the entire coordination pair. So if you have like CO NH3 whole 6 Cl3. Then the oxidation state of cobalt here will be x plus 6 into 0 plus 3 into minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to plus 3. Oxidation state is 3. So the entire name of the complex will be because now cobalt is a cationic complex. So it will be written first. So it will be hexaamine name of ligand written first hexaamine cobalt it will be just cobalt because it is a cationic complex not cobaltate just cobalt then there in roman numerals write 3 give a space write chloride. Now this is the entire name and we have reached to the entire naming according to IUPAC going to get full marks for that. Now there are some miscellaneous things left. So we will see that ambidentate ligands. So if ambidentate ligands are present then they are named according to the atom which donates the electrons to the metal. How do you know if in a complex say an ambidentate ligand is present how do you know which atom is donating to the metal. You will be able to know which atom is donating to, to the metal by looking at the complex that is the formula of the complex. Like if I have K C O C L O N O N H 3 whole 4. Then in this if it is O N O means it is nitrito O. Oxygen is donating to the central metal atom and if nitrogen is donating to the central metal atom then the formula will be written as this. So accordingly you can name the entire complex. Okay, so let us try to uh, name an entire complex which has an ambidentate ligand.
So the first thing that you do is you find the oxidation state of the central metal atom. CO is X. So X plus ONO plus 0 plus SO4's oxidation number or its charge is equal to 0. So X minus 1 minus 2 will be equal to 0 that gives you x is equal to plus 3. So now cobalt is present as a cation so we will name the ligands first and we will name the entire complex first. So in case of ligands first you are going to name the amine this is amine and this is nitrito O. So amine is going to come first so penta amine nitrito it's nitrito o because it's o n o so nitrito o then give a dash then write cobalt followed by the oxidation number in roman numerals and then give a space and write the ligand which is present outside which is sulfate and if it would have been The name would have been penta amine nitrito N cobalt three oxidation number in Roman numerals and included an inclusion parenthesis and then just sulfate. So that is how you name complexes in which ambidentate ligands are present.